Hey what's up David here with Dino Video Effects and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be creating these light streaks and um, I'll give an example of where it's going to be where it's used so if we take a look this is step up three and it's in the credits scene Okay, so we see the light streaks, it's moving around, it's making all these weird squiggly stuff. So that's what we're going to be creating. Alright, so let's head back into After Effects. And before I get into the tutorial, um, I just want to say that the skills I learned was from Andrew Kramer. So shout out to him, and he's the founder of Video Copilot, and he just makes incredible stuff when it comes to visual effects, 3D animation, and motion design. All right, so let's make a new comp. So I'm gonna hit that comp button. I'm gonna make this 1920 by 1080. Hit OK. Hit Control Y. I'll make a black solid. Call this background. Now let's hit Control Y again. Make it black and call this particular. All right, so. Let's make a new light now. I'll make a point light, zero, and I'll call this emitter. Now that's important, remember, you have to call it emitter, even with the capital E. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then we're gonna hit P, and Alt, hit Alt, hit Alt, Ugh. let me start again. Hold Alt, and click the stopwatch and we're going to type an expression called wiggle open bracket 8 comma 300 and what that does it randomizes the position of the light okay so that's what we wanted to do okay so let's go back into a particular layer and add particular and we're going to make this 2500 and we're gonna emit a type to light. Okay, so if we go back to choose name, there, it's recognizing our light. All right, so that's it. But for now, we need to go and make a new comp, call this particles, and we'll make it 100 by 100. And hit control Y. And this time we're gonna make a white solid. Okay. Grab the ellipse mask tool and then just draw a sh like an ellipse in the center. Maybe a circle up here. Another ellipse here. Another one on this side. And a circle on this. So I'm just gonna reposition these. So give me a second. Okay, so that's cool. If we hit MM, that brings us the mass path. And let's change all of these to feather it out, maybe two pixels. So all of the mass are feathered two pixels each. Okay. And hit T, lower it about 20%, and that's it. Okay, so we go back to our comp, drag our particles comp into our comp, shut the eye off, go into our particle layer, and we'll set this to sprite for the particle type. Go to texture, make this particles, and that's fine and change the size up to maybe no 10 uh, opacity to down to 60 percent okay so now we want to change more settings so 
velocity zero, velocity random, so all of these zero. And we want to make the particles per second modifier to none. Okay, so if we play this, we should be getting light streaks. Okay, so that's the main aim. So I'm going to set this to quarter because my computer is doing a lot of rendering. So that's it. All right, so I'm just going to change some of the settings for our emitter. Uh, hit U. And that brings up our expression. Maybe make this 500. And that just spreads it out a bit. And maybe make this six. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna make a new, also new layer, new adjustment layer. Hit enter and hit change this to glow. And we'll go color correction, hue and saturation. Hit the colorize. And let's stop playing with these settings. So I'm going to hit saturation to 50 and maybe make this, I don't know, maybe a blue color. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And we'll go st stylize glow. And that adds some glow. And we're going to. Maybe change this radius to 100. Maybe make a 0.5. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, yeah. Now, that's pretty much it for our particle. Okay, so let's make our camera now. So, let's go to layer, new camera. Make it 28 millimeters. Hit OK. Okay, so here's our camera. But first, I'm just going to lower the amount of particles to maybe 300. Uh, nah, actually, 250. And that just gives me a little bit more rendering speed. And you can do change the rendering mode to motion preview if you like but uh i'm just going to leave a full render okay so here's our camera and i'll uh, hit p and then shift a and that brings our point of interest and position i hit the stopwatch for both and just scrub through and then start changing the position so i'm hitting c for the orbits tool and all the camera tools basically Okay, so I've done my camera movement. I'm just gonna change these to easy ease and let's have a look. So you can see I'm rotating around the uh, particles and yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, like we got some coming to the camera, different camera angles, it makes it a bit more wild and more cooler I would say <laughs> okay so once that's done uh, now we can play with the color so you can control D for the glow and then maybe cut it so hit alt and then begin bracket and then we can change the color of this so maybe we can change this to um, maybe an orange color, so drop this down to 50. Yep, and then turn up the saturation. Okay. Hit T for both on the glows, and we'll make it opacity here and then once it gets to the one mark we'll hit zero for this one and then we'll leave that one overlay okay and hit f9 for both all of the keyframes sorry and 
let's have a look cool and now we can change our particles back to 2500 and maybe I'll make this a quarter resolution and let's play the whole thing okay so that's looking pretty cool so uh, I think that's pretty much it guys so yeah you can do some different combinations of the color and change the bit of settings of the particular but uh yeah that's pretty much it guys so thank you everyone i hope you enjoy this tutorial i hope you learn interesting techniques for your own creations please give a like like comment subscribe to my channel i do appreciate all the support for those who are subscribed and liked my video so thank you very much guys and until next time i will see you in the next video